demonstrate how to make our new carousel kit. Um, this is the instructions at the reverse of the image. This is one I made earlier, just the same. Now, to show you how to do it, the first thing you do is take all the contents out and check that they're all there. First one you have is a mini motor, then a motor mount, then a mini gear, AA batteries. Now we we'll give you a spare. You only need one, but the spare's there. A battery holder with a crimp connector, that's a crimp connector, and a sticky pad on the base. Um, and pipe cleaner damper. This is a new thing that we've got with the new kit. It's to stop the, the carousel going round too quickly. You need three pipe cleaners to make the wee man, a styrene ball for his head, and a bendy straw for his body. And the last thing are the instructions. The instructions are on the reverse. Now let's follow the instructions step by step. The first thing it says is push the battery into the battery holder. You always take the flat side of the battery, push it against the spring, push it firmly and put it down. Now that's the battery connected. The next instruction is push the black wire, the bare end of the metal, through one of the holes in the base of the motor. There are two quite large holes. You push the bare end of the black wire through one of the holes, bend the wire over so that the wire is touching the metal contact, twist the motor around to hold the wire tightly in place, it will never come off again. The next part of the circuit is to push the spare red wire through the other hole, the whole other side. This is making your circuit. Push it through, bend the metal over, touching metal, metal touching metal, lets the electricity through. Twist it round, give it a wee tug, it's firm. Now we'll check that the circuit is complete by touching. The motor goes round, it's jumping. That's the contact. So your circuit is complete. The next instruction is to put the gear onto the motor, onto the spindle of the motor. To do this, you push very firmly down and that keeps it very firmly on. So that is to turn the carousel. We'll touch it again. It's good to check all the time. Now, you've got to make your tray. The tray is made out of card, quite heavy card. The instructions are to fold the card over the dotted lines. All of the dotted lines get folded. The two big flaps stay on top and the small flaps go underneath. Now, you take the protection off the self-adhesive pads, all four of them, and that holds your box in place. Fold firmly and hold, press, fold firmly and press, that's one side of the box. Fold firmly and press, and that's the other side of the box. And this is the base of your carousel. It's a nice firm base and it holds all the things together. Now, you've got the, the box made, the mount made. Next thing to do is clip the motor mount onto one of the sides. Take again the protection off and put it over one of the joints. That holds it nice and firmly. That helps stabilise your box. Clip the motor inside the motor mount. So you put this inside there. The two red wires go in. Clip the motor into the motor mount. It goes in quite firmly and is held firmly in place. The next thing is to put the two red wires through the hole on the base. You want them to come out of the other side. 
both red wires with their clips go through the hole. Pull them through and then when that's through you take the tab off the, the battery holder, turn it round and press it down on the base, watching not to catch any of the red wires. It's a bit of a fiddle but it works. Pull the red wires down. The motor is the heaviest thing so that gives your carousel some stability. Now let's check the circuit again. It's a good idea to keep checking the circuit. You've got all the circuit in place and as you see the carousel turns. The next thing to do is put the damper in place. To put the damper in place you take, you release the sticky pad and it's going on the other side. Now you want it to stand slightly above because it's to touch the carousel as it goes round. It can be pushed up and down. It's quite an easy thing to do. Now we've done the making of the tray. So we're at the third part. It's finishing the carousel. To finish the carousel you use, you take the sticker off this now you want to put that centred on the gear. Push it down. Now again, you're going to check. It goes round. We'll not damp it down just now. So, oh yes, you, you clip it in to make it go round. And adjust the damper. Because now you're going to decorate the top. Adjust the damper so it doesn't go around too fast. That's, that's better. You'll need some felt pens to decorate your carousel. And to do this, it's quite easy. You just let it go around and make a spiral. As many colours as you want. As you see, when I'm pressing, it doesn't go down so fast, so far. Take it right into the middle, right out to the sides. Just have fun. Um, I'll do purple now. It's a good way of getting a spiral pattern on your carousel. You can use as many colours as you like to decorate your carousel. And if you like, make the centre quite strong. Now, when you've got the top of the carousel decorated, you close it off. And you, you switch it off by disconnecting. Now, we'll make the wee man. Or you can, if you like, at this point, decorate the base as well. I won't take time to do that, but decorate the base as well to make it look attractive. With the same felt pens. Now, we'll make the wee man to sit on the carousel. It says push two of the pipe cleaners through the bendy straw. Put them together, same size. Now you want it to be about that. This is the legs, so you want them to be a wee bit longer than the neck. That's the legs. To make the arms, you push this pipe cleaner in between those two. Make it even either side of the arms. And where's the styling ball? To hold it in place, you push the styling ball tightly down to make the head. Now, the arms are really far too long, so you bend them in half. Twist them round to make hands. Bend them in half. Twist them round to make hands. Then you make the E and the foot. The knee and the foot. Then you can bend them in the middle. Draw a smiley face on your little man's head. It's got to be smiling. You can make an ugly face if you like. But just draw a nice smiley face on the wee man. Little eyes. Make him look as if he's really enjoying the carousel. And stick your wee man on the carousel using, you can turn his head round and his arms, 
the self adhesive strips that are there. Take the tops off, they're nicely decorated, but take the tops off. Sit them down with the straw, push it hard, give it a good firm, and each one of his feet gets stuck down too. And that's your wee man sitting on the carousel. The last thing is to play with it. You can continue to decorate it, but to switch on, you just push the contacts together. And the wee man whirls round. Now, I think he's going too fast, but you can adjust the speed using the dampers. You can't hurt yourself, even if you touch it, it just stops it. Um, have fun. That's my little carousel. You can change it any way you like. Thanks for listening. Bye.